So go into your GIMP program, go to File, go to New, make the width 540, the height 330, press OK. Now you're going to want to go to the web, type in something like simple backgrounds, background, wallpaper, and find a real simple background. Click on it, full size image. You can always right click on it from right there also. This makes it a little easier. Right click, save as, and just type in simple background or whatever you want to type in. Save it under my pictures, be easier to find. Make sure it's a JPEG. Save. So you go to your pictures, to your simple background, uh, you take it, pick it up, left click, drag it over to your GIMP canvas, and let go, and it puts your background on there for you. Now it is kind of large, so I'm going to want to resize it. Go to the scale tool, click on it, and then go here and make sure the little link is connected and just bring it way down press the width down button you can always drag it too but the little arrows roll off the screen so I'll just do it this way and I'll see the little corners you can left click and drag press the scale button and we're going to grab the move tool grab it onto the scene a little better there and that looks real good. Now the background is still kind of dark for my liking so I'm gonna go ahead and move the opacity down to 50 and it looks real good right there. Make sure to leave that background right there. Alright next I wanna go ahead and make the boxes that's gonna be clickable so I'm gonna go to new layer right here and I'm gonna make it 180 by 110 and keep the layer fill type white <coughs> and you'll see it's perfect size right there come over here to the layer and you're gonna duplicate it three times two and three that way you have four of them and make sure you go to the move tool and you can place them exactly how you like them to go. Make sure to leave some space so you can type, you know, what each video is up above it. Or you can even make the boxes bigger if you want to and put the writing right inside the box. Now, there's two different ways that you can make this YouTube ending. You can either make it like KYR Speedies, who uses the same one at the end of every video and he puts his words right there in the center. Or you can kind of go like mine and I put my thumbnails. And with putting your thumbnails, you have to change it every single time. But I think I have thumb nice thumbnails and I can really capture people's attention. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put in my text. I'm going to click on the text tool. And I'm going to put my text where I want it. Just make a little box. And um, the color is black. You can change it to any color you want. And I'm going to put previous video caps locked. And I'm going to make that bigger size. But first, I want to change the font over here. I'm going to make it Verdana Bold. There we go. And that automatically makes it bigger. Let's, uh, let's make the box a little bit bigger here. Oh, on the inbox. On the box again. And make that box a little bit bigger. Previous video. Looks good. 
and that was a size 20 so I'm going to do that to each one of these now now this is the part where you want to go ahead and add the thumbnails or pictures that you want to make clickable so I'm going to start with my channel just grab that from my pictures and put that right there and of course I'm going to have to resize it and we'll use this about right there and move it directly over top now we're going to have to go and place it up a little higher uh, use the up arrow here and then we're going to put it right there so I'm going to grab one of my thumbnails that I already made and drop it right there for previous video and of course I have to resize it and all right there looks good and position it and I'm going to resize it just a little bit more here so let's just say that you're not a YouTube partner and you don't have any thumbnails made well it's not a problem at all you can go to the video that you want to use uh, find a good moment in the video that you want to use and just press control and print screen and that will capture the screen go back to the program and I'm actually gonna do this in a new window make it mm, a couple thousand by a couple thousand I was putting here two thousand two thousand press OK then I'm gonna go ahead and paste it control V and it centers it on there view let's go to a hundred percent and use the crop tool and this looks like the height's a little bit high I know I made this back in the day using theater mode and theater mode don't capture stuff right for YouTube um, take out that black lines a little bit more there we go and now I'm gonna go ahead and save this as the name of my video whole team 10 seconds alright so I'm actually gonna make this just a little bit more so it's widescreen the top of the gun in the picture uh, I don't like that looks good and I'm gonna make sure to flatten the image image flatten image then I'm gonna save it as a JPEG file export and it's gonna want to save it as a PNG I go to file type save it as a JPEG I'm gonna title it whole team 10 seconds pick that was the name of the video just so I can have a good reference with that name and we're going to take the quality down to about 70 I do that for all JPEGs helps reduce the file size so now I take my new image that I made I drag it and paste it on there and of course I'm going to resize it and put it in place alright so now I got all my thumbnails in place how I want them I did a little bit of resizing make sure everyone was lined up with each other and so now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the white squares 
go to each white square layer and delete it. So now I'm all done with my YouTube ending and I'm ready to go ahead and save it. So I'm going to go to save as and I'm just going to title it sample YouTube ending. And we're going to save. And now we need to save it as a JPEG. So we actually want to go to image, flatten image. And that took all those layers that was right here and put them into one. And then we're going to go to file, go to export. And it's already in there for the title and it's already ready for a JPEG because I've done this so many times you might have to go in there and change it to a JPEG so I'm going to press export hope I meant to put it in pictures I have to do it one more time here put it in pictures and for the quality uh, just like we did earlier you want to put it down to 70 that way the file size is a lot smaller and it loads faster. There we go. And a good tip for you guys too, is it's really crucial when you're exiting not to save it because you already flattened the image and when you go back into it you want to be able to bring it up with all those layers. So when you do exit out of it you're gonna say close without saving that way you can go back into it and edit with all those layers still there yeah I'm a call of duty pro drop shot and kids everywhere I go I can't be touched I won't be stopped, it's undeniable, I'm undefeatable in black ops I've got the skill, pulling off clutch plays I make the other team rage quit the game Every one of your kill cams will come for me What else could you expect from pro with COD?